right. Next, go ahead and lay out your panel with the right side facing up, and we're looking at the top edge. Go ahead and grab two of your pockets. Now from the top edge of your panel, you want to measure down four and a half inches. And you want to go ahead and make a mark on your fabric. All right, you want to do that to the other side as well. Measure down four and a half inches and make a mark. All right, once you have your marks made, take your pocket and what you want to do is lay it right sides to right sides and you're going to line up the top edge of the pocket with that line that we have just drawn marking four and a half inches then you want to take your pins and go ahead and pin your pocket to your panel All right, now we will take this to our iron and go ahead and iron. Now we'll take it to our sewing machine and sew these down in place using a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, starting at the top of the pocket or at the bottom, depending on which side you're starting on, go ahead and lower your needle, begin sewing, and back stitch. And continue sewing all the way until you get to the end and back stitch again. All right, after your pockets are sewn into place, go ahead and press them going outwards. Next, after both panels have the pockets, what you want to do is lay one of the panels with the right side facing up. You want to take your other panel and lay it right on top. So now we have the right side touching the right side. You want to go ahead and line everything up. Next, you want to grab your pins and right in here at the seam, I'm going to place a pin. Next, we need to mark the top and the bottom notch in our pocket. So go ahead and find those notches and place a pin. Okay, from the top, you want to measure down where you want your slit to begin. So for me, that's 33 inches. So I'm going to take a pin and about 5 eighths of the way in, I'm going to place my pin inside of my fabric. Next, what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and mark that with a dot. So I'm going to mark it first at the top, then I'm going to flip my fabric over and right where the pin is coming out, I'm going to mark another dot. Alright, and now from where we put our dot, we're going to add some additional pins along the side seam. Alright, now what we're going to do is, starting at our dot that we made for our slit, we're going to sew all the way up until we get to that bottom notch in our pocket, we'll sew around 
and come back up. Then we'll start at the top of our skirt and sew down until we get to this top notch in our pocket. Alright, let's take this to our sewing machine and go ahead and do that. Alright, starting at the large dot that we made, we're going to sew all the way up until we get to that bottom notch in our pocket. Go ahead and lower your needle, begin sewing, and we are using a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Begin sewing, back stitch, and let's continue sewing until we get to that bottom notch in our pocket. Once you get to that bottom notch, go ahead and lift up your presser foot, turn your fabric, lower your presser foot back down, and continue sewing. And you want to get your pocket lined back up with 5 eighths of an inch. And as you're going along the pocket, Make sure you're pivoting to sew around the curve. Alright, to finish off this side seam, we're going to start at the top of our skirt and we're going to sew down until we get to that top notch in our pocket. So still using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and begin sewing. Back stitch. Alright, now it's time to press your pockets going toward one direction of the skirt. So choose which side you want to be the front and which side you want to be the back. Once you have decided, go ahead and press your seam allowance going towards the, the side that you have chosen to be the front. And then go ahead and take a pin and just tack it down going through one layer only. So I'm only um, pinning through the front layer of the skirt and now when we get ready to do our waistband both of our pockets will be facing the same direction and um, yeah they'll be facing the same direction alright so right now I'm looking at the wrong side of the fabric it is facing up what you want to do is working at the top edge of your skirt, you want to grab your index card and from the bottom you want to measure up two and a half inches and draw a line. Now <clears throat> from this two and a half inch line we're going to take the edge of our fabric and we're going to fold it up to meet that two and a half inch line and then along the bottom edge here we're going to take our iron and press that in place. Now, there's no need to finish off this raw edge. Well, it's not raw. Now, there's no need to finish off this edge here because it's the selvage edge, so it won't fray. So you're going to take the, use this index card around the entire waistband. So you'll fold up the top edge to meet that two and a half inch line and press all the way around. On my fabric, I went ahead and marked a starting and a stopping pin. And additionally, I went ahead and added some pins along the waistband just to reinforce it, to hold it in place. This is optional though. So in order to hold this in place, what we're going to do is line up the edge of the waistband with the edge of our presser foot. Go ahead and lower your needle, begin sewing, 
and back stitch and keep sewing all the way around until you get to your stopping pin. Make sure that the edge of the casing stays lined up with the edge of the presser foot. Also as you're sewing, make sure that your pocket is underneath the waistband so that it'll get caught in the stitch and yeah. Once you get to your stopping pin, go ahead and back stitch. And I left about a two inch opening to insert my elastic. All right, next go ahead and cut out a piece of elastic that is two inches smaller than your waist measurement. So for me, my waist is a size 28, so I cut out a piece of elastic that is 26 inches long. All right, next grab your safety pin and go ahead and hook it onto one end of the elastic. We're going to use this to guide it through our casing. All right, next what you wanna do is take the safety pin and push it right through that opening And you want to feel for that safety pin and you want to begin pushing it through. So I'm taking my right hand and I'm helping to guide the fabric over the safety pin. And then I'm holding it in place, taking my left hand and pulling the fabric in the opposite direction. Well, I guess the same direction, really. So I'm pushing with my right hand, holding in place, holding that safety pin in place, and pulling the fabric. So you're going to do this around the entire waistband to pull the elastic through. Alright, once you're back out on the other side, go ahead and take the safety pin off of your elastic. And now with these two ends, you want to overlap them about a half of an inch. And go ahead and use a pin to hold that in place. Now we're going to do a zigzag stitch to hold these two pieces together. Now before we get ready to sew this Go ahead and double check that your waistband, that, that the elastic has not twisted anywhere. So make sure that it's coming straight out of this side and also make sure that it's coming straight out of the other side. That way you won't have to deal with any elastic um, being twisted inside of your casing. So triple check and then let's take this to our machine and sew a zigzag stitch. All right, go ahead and lay the overlapped part of the elastic underneath the presser foot. Change your stitch to a zigzag. Lower your needle. Go ahead and begin sewing. And now you're going to back stitch. And sew forward again. Alright, and you're going to repeat this process a couple of more times. Sewing forward and then back stitching using a zigzag stitch. Alright, now we can go ahead and release our elastic into our casing. So I'm just pulling my skirt in opposite directions so that my elastic will now go inside of my casing. 
All right, and now we're going to go ahead and close this up. All right, placing our needle right where we left off. Go ahead and, oh, and one more thing. I went ahead and pinned my elastic out of my way so it won't get caught in my new stitches. So still keeping the bottom edge of the casing lined up with the edge of the presser foot. Go ahead and begin sewing until you get right back to your starting point. Now you can go ahead and distribute your gathers evenly. So what I'm doing is just pulling my skirt in opposite directions, helping to distribute the gathers evenly along the waistband. Next, what you can go ahead and do is turn your skirt to the right side facing out. So before we do this next part, make sure you have an even amount of gathers around the entire edge of, um, make sure you have your gathers are even across the entire waistband. Alright, next what you want to go ahead and do is place some pins along the waistband. So I placed one pin at the side seam here and another pin at the side seam here. And I went ahead and added a pin in the center front and the center back. Now in order to determine um, how to place those, what I did was I placed the two side seams together and then I marked oh, that's not really. Here we go. Then I marked the center front with a pin and I marked the center back with a pin. Now when we get ready to um, sew the ruffle stitch for our waistband, what we're going to do is start at one of the side seams and you're going to pull your elastic through as you're sewing and the pins are just there to help guide us now before we begin sewing make sure your elastic has not rolled up inside of the casing next go ahead and line up the top edge of the waistband with a one inch seam allowance or an inch and a quarter seam allowance it'll depend on your machine and also your waistband because I started with one inch and it was not the halfway point so I would double check the halfway point of my waistband before doing this next step to make sure that you have an accurate um, zigzag stitch going down the middle of your waistband alright so I went ahead and switched my machine over to a narrow zigzag stitch I'm starting at one of the side seams and what I'm going to do is find the next pin and this is where I'm going to hold my elastic and pull. Alright, go ahead and lower your needle and go ahead and grab hold of this side and you're also going to be pulling at the opposite end as well as you're, as you're sewing. So go ahead and begin sewing. and you want to continue this process all the way around using the pins as your guide for where to pull the elastic. Alright, so for the side slit, what you want to do is from the end of the pocket, you want to press the seam open and then you'll notice that at the slit, the, we need to um, hem this as well. So what you want to do is take your index card and from where the slit begins, you want to begin folding back 5 eighths of an inch and you want to press that down in place the whole on both sides. So folding over the slit edge 5 eighths of an inch and pressing. Then once you have pressed it once, now we're going to make a narrow hem. So what you want to do, starting about an inch above where your slit begins. You want to fold the fabric in 
to meet that crease and you're going to take your iron and press that down in place. So you'll do that the whole way down. Tucking it in to meet the, tucking in the edge to meet the crease and then pressing that in place. And also while you're at your iron, after you've made this narrow hem, you're going to continue making a narrow hem at the bottom edge of the skirt. So you'll do both sides of the slip, then you'll take your index card again, and now working at the bottom edge of the skirt, still looking at the wrong side of the fabric, you'll fold up this edge to meet 5 eighths of an inch, and you will press that down to hold it in place. And you'll do that around the entire bottom edge. Now, once you have press that down once then we'll make a narrow hem at the bottom as well so then we'll open it back up and fold it in to meet the crease and then fold it in again creating a narrow hem so now when we get ready to sew this we'll start at the center back of the skirt and we'll sew all the way until we get to our slit We'll sew up, pivot, come down, and keep sewing around. And I will guide you through that. All right, I'm starting in the center back of the skirt. I'm looking at the right side of the fabric. It's facing up. I went ahead and lined the hem up with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Go ahead and lower your needle. Begin sewing. And backstitch. And you're going to continue sewing until you get to the side slit, but stop about 3 eighths of an inch away from the side slit. Alright, once you're about 3 eighths of an inch away, go ahead and leave your needle in your fabric, lift up your presser foot, and turn. And now we're going to sew up the side slit, still using a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Alright, once you, once you get to the side slit, you want to Pass up the slit about a half of an inch. Then you want to leave your needle inside of your fabric. Go ahead and lift up the presser foot, turn. Put your presser foot back down. Next, you want to sew a straight stitch that is about 5 eighths of an inch long. All right, and then you want to lift up your presser foot, turn, and then sew down the other side of the slit using a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you get back down to the hem, you're going to sew until you get about 3 eighths of an inch away. Then you're going to repeat the same process. Lift up your presser foot, pivot your fabric, continue sewing at a 3 eighths of an inch, uh, sew up the other slit, and you will be all finished with your skirt.
everyone that concludes the tutorial thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe here on my channel and also on my blog